Mic check one two one two. What it is? What's up? It's the Mic Up Students. What's happening? We're back with another episode. I'm the home. I'm Malachi. And I'm Ira. All right, your hosts with the most are in the building, and today the topic of conversation is COVID nineteen. The second pandemic. Second pandemic. Yeah. What's going on in a row right now. I know, it's, it's simultaneously. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, so we got a bunch of things to cover when it comes to COVID nineteen. It's obviously like a big global you know it's a pandemic it's (laughs) a pandemic yeah perfect word to describe it uh so we want to start off with where did it originate you guys know at all i have the information written down but yeah it it, it's suspected to be from china that's no not suspected no it it, it originated in china China. okay it is suspected to have originated in a lab in china but there's no hard proven evidence but they also say that it originated from specifically uh, a wet market so a wet market is where they sell um, exotic animals or or just products from ex- just exotic yeah, animals. I, I yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> so that too. leads so that leads that to this yeah. quote this quote I have right here. So based on everything that scientists have looked at at the genetic material of this coronavirus, the similarity is closest to a virus in a bat. Doctor Patel mm-hmm. from ABC Seven News. Yeah, and the, and they sell yeah. bats there. Mm-hmm. So they're an exotic market. You said what? They be eating bats in China. Bat soup. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> Clay's laughing. I don't know why you like it's. It's yeah, for real. That's, like, that's, it's, that's, it's sick. I mean, that's but, normal. Yeah, that's their normal. I mean, yeah, okay, for I'll, them it's normal, but I mean, you will never uh, catch me. Eating listen, a bat. it's just not. It's not domesticated here in yes. the U.S. Exactly. So I, I don't eat that. <laughs> never catch me eating a yeah. bat. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Hey, not but you funny. want some bat soup? <laughs> oh, I wish somebody would. Oh, I wish somebody would. <laughs> Well, have you ever had chicken feet? No. Oh. The, my oh, grandma's man. made cow's tongue. Oh, my God. Liver. Like, people should be liver. eating anything, my, my right? parents eat liver. My parents eat liver. Pig's Disgust. feet, too? No, oh, no. Okay. Pig's feet, well. Pig's, yeah, people eat pig's feet, too. Yeah, I know. No, That's one gross. time, um, <laughs> my mom, anything. she made chicken soup, and I saw with chicken feet, and I saw the claw oh, coming no. down. I'm sorry. All right, all right we're going to get back to the coronavirus. I screamed. I was like, <laughs> We're going to go back to the coronavirus. Back to the coronavirus. Hey. No, 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 no. All that, that that's a pandemic it in and of itself. It adds more flavor to it. So oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I got scared, though, because I just saw claws coming out right. of the... <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh, hell no, what is this? But, but yeah. All right, that was a little flavor for this topic. <laughs> All right. <It's> disgusting. <laughs> All right, so now we want to talk about how does it spread, oh. right? Yes. So I have a quote from the CDC's official website. And it says that the virus that causes COVID-19 is thought to spread mainly from person to person, mainly through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouths or nose- noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Spread is more likely when people are in close contact with one another within about six feet. That's from the CDC official website. So in other words, when you sneeze, cough, it's All that. spread in that form yes and i also read something that said that it is more likely for like it's highly likely for it to spread if if it's a person that is symptomatic who actually mm-hmm. feels and is sick mm-hmm. but i read somewhere they said i think it was like in the last week or so they said that if you are asymptomatic mm-hmm. meaning you don't like you, you can have the vi- like you're a carrier you can have the virus but not feel the symptoms you're it's like really rare for you to actually pass that off to somebody else so like if i was asymptomatic and I had the coronavirus. So you're saying it's not contagious? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah but basically. see, that doesn't make any sense, though. Like if, you you have, like, if you have it, if it's in your system, whether you're showing the symptoms or not, you should. it would still be It maybe, would still be transmissible. Maybe your immune system is fighting. Like I said, I don't know. Like, like honestly, there's a lot of things up there. Because there was, there was a thing where it was saying, like, I remember I read somewhere it said that uh, the virus can live on surfaces. And then I also read a couple of days later that that was misproven or it was, no, it was it disproven said, and it can't live metal, on surfaces right? metal it was like so for metal up to 48 hours or something like that that, that it can live or cannot yeah live. it can't yeah. live on oh, survive okay. on metal but it also said like if it's in a high humid <laughs> condition mm-hmm. oh yeah it, obviously it'll, that's yeah, that's it'll for die. It, yeah. or anybody it'll die but off or it'll yeah, die it'll, it'll, it'll divide it'll die off yeah oh, okay okay no yeah i mentioned that in one of my classes um to one of my professors and he he laughed at me literally saying like no, like hot heat doesn't kill off the virus. So I was like, 
well, I got my information from a doctor, you know. Yeah. It wasn't like <laughs> I doctor. came up with it. So mm-hmm. he made me he made me feel kind of belittled. So, I mean. So with, with a vi- virus, is different than bacteria, <laughs> like bacterial infections. Like with a virus, you honestly have to just let it work through your system. Um, bacteria, you can actually get like antibodies for it and whatnot. So because it's, it's the same thing with HIV, you know, like that's a it's a non curable. I mean, you so there's medicine that can treat the symptoms. But as far as the virus being in your system, like that's it's what it is. Yeah, you can recover. But another thing is a lot so of people. It stays in you, right? In your yeah, system. Yeah. But a lot of people are. Well, no, you can be freed of the virus. So people. Well, you talking about negative. Corona or HIV? Corona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corona. Yeah, Corona. You can. Yeah, Corona obviously will pass through your system. But I'm saying and, like, and even HIV. Magic Johnson don't got that no more. I don't care what nobody said. Magic Johnson does not <laughs> have that anymore. He got the money to get rid of that. Oh, you know, God. but when it comes to COVID, right? So they say, you know, people can test negative, right? Mm-hmm. But also they say that, um, um, lost train of lost thought. Train of thought. I that. <laughs> I See, Magic like, Johnson threw me off. I, I don't know how I'd be. I know you just I'd had be. to throw that out there. Had to. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, it's, I, I think now, like, I mean, to be like, it's crazy because you really, I, we haven't really, I haven't really seen a lot of coronavirus cases in, 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 uh, news about it popping up is more because we're obviously dealing with the with the black lives matter movement um and the police injustices Have you guys seen, i don't um, want to say dealing spike? with the black lives matter movement i want to say like living there it is that's black a better lives word. matter movement. living in yeah go ahead what was you gonna say no i'm saying well because you brought up the protests and everything and you know mm-hmm. how like there's masses of people gathering. oh like shoulder to shoulder yeah yeah exactly so have you guys seen on the news or like any news source that it has the cases have grown yeah yeah arizona yeah. has become the new hot spot they spiked up like 4200 cases and it's hot there like a day yeah and it's, it's hot, hot there, there so mm-hmm. so maybe the florida too florida too yeah I but mean, see, see this is something that that's really confusing to me i have not met nor heard of a person that i know that has got the coronavirus i, I have and i have a statistic that says the total deaths i have the total deaths in, infected as of yesterday so Infected 2.8 million in the United States, and then the total deaths is 119k. I have not met a single person that knows somebody that knows somebody that has a coronavirus. I do. My dad, he, uh, one of his friends. See, and that's that's the thing about the coronavirus, man. It really affects everybody differently. Like, uh, my dad, his friend, he got he got COVID, but he had the version that almost killed him. Oh, so because it's different for everybody. Some somebody some people can have the coronavirus where you're asymptomatic completely, and then someone can get it where like. You're it's really die. bad if it exactly. gets in your lungs it's really bad exactly and yeah. that's what happened like he was like and like he couldn't breathe and like essentially there was nothing that the doctors could really do about it because they don't have they didn't have a cure at the time or whatever yeah, still don't. so exactly so they were like so he was like you know if i'm gonna die then i'm gonna die at home um but then you know he was you know i worked through his system but you know what i'm saying like it's just crazy because i didn't think i'd know anybody that would get it i mean i don't know him but my pops know him yeah, but it's just crazy because it's like that's that part is scary. It's like you could get it, but you don't know if you're what version you're gonna have. Mm-hmm. That's the scary. I I think for me that's the scary part about it. It's getting it in general, getting I it in general, scary, yeah, yeah. But if you get it and you you're asymptomatic, I mean that still sucks because you don't want to pass it off to anybody not unknowingly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but either yeah, man, it's either way, it's all bad. Definitely, definitely, it's crazy. It's wild. I, I saw somewhere it was like a, a girl because, you know, at first they were saying mostly elderly people and yeah people who are already have uh, yeah, respiratory and, and previous conditions are the ones who are really dying from it. But my brother had sent me a link to there's this girl. She was 20 years old, just like us. And she had the virus perfectly healthy and her lungs. She had to get a lung transplant. Oh wow! Yeah, her lungs were completely like it got into her her lungs and her respiratory system and over with. Just yeah, crazy. It did really bad. So it's like, you know, you can you can think you know it's only gonna affect old people or whatever. And there's a lot of people in our generation that that uh they they vape a lot and have mm-hmm. nicotine addic- addictions even though they don't want to admit it. <laughs> you are <laughs> you are in enough. extreme danger if you get the virus because it attacks your lungs, your mm-hmm. respiratory system. Mm-hmm. So if all you do is, you know, smoke nicotine all day and, and inhale from vape pens and things like that. You're once you get the virus, you may think you're healthy, yeah, you can still do sports, but your lungs are shot, dude. Yeah. Like you can't you can't do that. Yeah, it's it's all bad. It's terrible. Yeah, I mean I mean, so I mean, it's real. Like it's it's definitely real. Yeah. I think um 
Yeah, it's def- I, th- I think people I think people are kind of taking it because okay, so I, I also work in Benicia as well with uh, kids, and um, they're taking like extreme precaution. Like we got to sanitize everything, got to wear masks, we got to you know be like we're keeping the kids, you know, separated and grew. Like we're taking like extreme precaution, which you know necessary. as you sh- exactly necessary, necessary precaution, um, as we as you should be. Um, so I mean, it's definitely real because at the end of the day, right, you don't want to, you don't want to just slip up that one time. Like oh, it's all good, it don't matter. And then boom, COVID. You can, exactly. you know, so it's. But um, lately, I I haven't been seeing people wear masks or anything compared to like a couple weeks back. Everybody was paranoid. <laughs> you have yours now. You got my mask on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, yep. but um, I haven't been seeing people wear them. I feel like they just don't believe it, believe in it anymore, just because of the fact that they see people gathering now. And I'm not talking about the protests. I'm talking about. Like barbecuing, beaches, and beaches, everything. Exactly. Yeah, everything. It's so, so crazy to me. Yeah. So I feel like they just don't believe in any in it anymore because they see other people just mm-hmm. trying to live their life. And on top of that, COVID nineteen has transformed everybody's life into working at home and just changing our life completely. Bored. Yeah. Make people <laughs> a lot a lot of people bored. Definitely. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, definitely. But at the same Definitely. time, it, it makes them be creative. But yeah, mm-hmm. being at home bored and just paranoid and looking at the news and all they talk about is um, the virus and you're just like, oh my God, what do I do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other it's than practice good hygiene. but It's crazy to me though. Hmm. People really just said, forget the virus. Yo, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to <laughs> barbecue. I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to go to yeah. any <laughs> and everything. And I'm like, wow. So, that's, so here's the thing, man. That's crazy. Know, so here's my thing. As far as like as far as the economy, like the malls and 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 stuff like that, the economy has to open up again at some point, bro. Like, like that. That's why we're in the phases. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they open up everything at one point. I get it. Like the corona is still there. It's it hasn't even spiked yet. What, what do you we mean? haven't even hit like I a high we point. Did. No, we didn't. No, no. And there's gonna be a second wave. I did hear when yeah, flu there season is, comes. There is gonna be a second wave when flu season comes. Sheesh. So I mean, we're not prepared. But <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're not, not prepared. <laughs> Really not. Know. It's, you know, it's funny. I was, I was in Walmart like when the Corona like first started. People there <laughs> buying out. guns and, and yeah, ammo. It like it was the end of the world. Oh, yeah. I said, like cleared we're out. not turning to zombies, bro. Yeah, I don't like, think so. Exactly. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Well, because everything was everybody was just hoarding by overbuying. Oh, yeah. That's we got why they were out. buying guns. And the the reason why most people were buying guns was because they feared that other people would break into the homes and steal like toilet paper or disinfectants. Because yeah, there wasn't much there wasn't in the stores. Much, yeah. It was scarce. Yeah. yeah. So that's why people panicked. Huge scarcity. I mean, things are a lot better now. Like, <clears throat> but that's like, I've been I've been to stores. Like, it's not as like um, cleared out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As as it. But they also was. the factories and 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 um, back stocks back supply our suppliers mm-hmm. have been able to catch up. Like we took yeah. that time to like there was a hectic point and then once we figured out the demand. We stopped making a lot of things and focused on the no stuff way, that we exactly. bought a lot yeah. more. So supply and demand. Right, supply. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of stores also changed how much people can buy, right? Limits. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. remember I went to Walmart <clears throat> two weeks ago, and um, I grabbed two bleaches and two toilet paper um, bags. Not bags, but just packages. Yeah. yeah. And the lady had said, I'm sorry, we can only send, sell you one toilet paper package and one Clorox ble- bleach. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's mm-hmm. fine. I understand. Um, I just saw that there was extra, so I was like, mm-hmm. I want to take <clears throat> extra because I don't want to come back to the store often. So. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. was... So, classes. So, obviously, COVID, you know, we're all three of us are college students. Obviously, COVID yep. mm-hmm. definitely shifted. I went from never taking an online class before in my life to all of my classes online. So, it was a big shift. How do you guys, how do you guys plan on approaching fall semester because we're mostly online i still have two classes on campus but yeah so do i most everybody has fully classes all their classes online go ahead ira i was waiting for you (laughs) (laughs) that sigh made me think you were gonna say something but um i'm just a little frustrated well considering that we went through the last semester not the entire semester we went online but um what was i saying (laughs) <laughs> Enough of the semester. Through, well, through. yeah, towards the end of the semester, we just totally switched to online. So it was something new for me, and I just, I I didn't like it at all because 
it, there's just a lot of distractions. My mom would tell me like, oh, can you clean this? Because she thought I was available. <laughs> Thinking that I was like home laying down on my laptop. She thought that, oh, okay, she has time. And then I felt guilty whenever I saw her cleaning and I wasn't cleaning because I was in class. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's just, it's, it's stressful. I, I, yeah, no, I, I can't agree. manage my time. I feel like I'm in class all day. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, of, I agree. Instead of like from this time to this time because I have it scheduled to go in person and then mm-hmm. take my break, go home, mm-hmm. cook, and yeah, I just I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out. Yeah, it's gonna be it. rough. What about yeah. you, Malachi? You know, I feel honestly, I I kind of gotta piggyback piggyback off of Ira. Like it's it's definitely a little bit less um, structured, I guess you could say. Cause, a little bit because <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't. Yeah, I'm used to, you know, going in from, from 10 to 11, 15 or whatever. And then, you know, you go to, you have a break or whatever. And then you go to your next class. But for I, a lot of, I think, I think now um, teachers are going to. Um, they're going to be a lot strict because they're. Well, see, I don't know if, I don't know if now. they're still doing Zoom or if it's going to be. Um, I forgot the word for it. Like ace. I forgot the word for it. But like you can, you can move at your own pace. Like you're not teaching. You're not, you're not following, like, the teachers and teaching you, like, they kind of just send you everything and you can move at your own pace. Oh I don't gosh. know if they're going to do that. Have homeschool. Exactly. Homeschool. It's really going to, but I mean, even, I, I don't know if they're going to do that, if they're still going to do Zoom. Um, but I mean, do you know, think Zoom was know. a disaster? I'm what starting to hate Zoom a lot more. I don't now. like Zoom at all. <laughs> I'm, I really am. I hate online classes. It's my turn. I hate online classes. It's my turn. Yeah. I hate them. They're literally like, it's not for me. I, I was trained. From kindergarten to twelve to my okay. second year in college, mm-hmm. how to learn in a classroom setting. Exactly. So I feel like I am can be successful and can succeed in any class I take because I understand how to learn in a classroom setting. Facts. And now I am forced to figure out how to learn in my house mm-hmm. where I have all the distractions in the world. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you know it's definitely not easy. It's definitely not easy. Well, it's- it's an environment where you're comfortable. So you have to force exactly. yourself not to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. I feel like it's less just, I feel like I'd be too laid back when I'm in yeah. the house. Like, eh, teacher doesn't care if I get it's on optional. five minutes late. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's yeah. optional. You know, when it comes to being like actually having to go to class, you'll miss out on things. Some teachers will like withhold information mm-hmm. if you don't show up to class. Yeah. So it's like I had the, the like, you have incentive the drive, to go yeah. yeah the drive motivation to go but now i mean the motivation is dropping less and less i mean i'm still gonna thug it out obviously because mm-hmm. you know that's what i do i'm gonna yeah. get out in four years mm-hmm. but but i'm definitely dreading it yeah, definitely because another thing too that i was <laughs> i was thinking is like and, and it's honestly i'm not i'm not upset with the universe because i mean you, you know we're in a pandemic but uh a couple a couple of People were saying, oh, I'm going to take uh, breaks off and just wait till we come back. Semester off, um, yeah. Some people were thinking about uh, unenrolling because of the prices and just go to pray to do it at JC if we're going to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I mean, like, those are – But gonna, it only makes sense because you can only do that, like, your first two or three years because you can't mean? take upper division courses at Oh, JC. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. At, at the JC, no, no, no. But, um, like, and that's, and that's another thing, too. Like, it really sucks for freshmen. Like, the, the last year, I didn't even get a whole year. No. Um, I mean, this is our second year going through something last year with the fires. Exactly. Well, just incoming freshmen in general, they had to like end their senior year. Yeah, that sucks. Wrong. That sucks. And too. then their first semester coming back, they have to do everything online. Mm-hmm. So it's like, do they ever get the experience? And they need the experience so they can like yeah. transition from a high school mindset to a college mindset, like Absolutely. their surroundings and everything like that, like how it is with. Meeting with professors, office hours, mm-hmm. advertising, all that. So it's going to be a lot difficult now that it's going to be virtual. Even like meeting people, like meeting like-minded people, you know, usually you are able to join a club or an attendant friends, event. Yeah. yeah, friends, you know, you kind of get that sigh of relief once you figure out a core, a solid core group of people that you can hang out with. Mm-hmm. But, you know, right now that's not a, that's not an option. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so not an option, to- which is rough. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's still going to be some classes online, and I'm, you know, I, I saw somewhere that the chancellor of CSU had, had like said he, felt like he made the decision out of fear, and you know, if he could take it back, he said he would have. Also, he said that, you know, if conditions, like lessen, and you know, he'll start to open up more classes and more of the campus. Yeah. As in the time in goes. the fall. 
Yeah, in the fall. Oh, okay, yeah. But right now we're seeing a spike, so I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen at all. So, all right, so let me ask y'all this then: if if conditions don't get better in the spring, do you think we'll still be online? Because right now it's looking like we're probably gonna be back in the spring. I think so. If conditions, but I feel like the school. I don't even, know if even, schools even, can go a whole year with well, it being closed. How are other countries dealing with it? That's the thing. Yeah, that's one thing I'm not, because uh, I'm not super knowledgeable and educated about how other countries are doing it. Mm-hmm. But I know that their school systems are definitely built different than ours. So, yeah. like, in the UK, I have cousins in the UK who, like, they go to what would be high school for us. And then they do college, and then they do university. They're, like, separated. So, mm-hmm. I don't know how populated the schools are i feel like it'd be a little bit easier for them because they don't have as many students at each yeah university but our schools is kind of like you go through that and then we stuff everybody into yeah for a yeah. campus for four years yeah yeah i don't know like i mean honestly i think that's everybody's like i think that's the sliver of hope that everybody has like oh we're gonna come back in the spring um but i mean that's just that's given that Things either stay how they are or they get better. Yeah, if we it need gets a vaccine. Worse, we need a vaccine. But people are yeah. very skeptical of the vaccine. Who wouldn't? What be? are they saying? Like yeah. it's a chip. They're saying yeah, you're gonna get a a chip implanted in you inside of you. Uh, That's what they're saying. Saying it's all gov- a government ploy. There's a lot of conspiracies. A whole but but you expect you should expect that there to be yeah. political. That it's not as big as it. You should expect there to be. Yeah. But mm-hmm. once you get a vaccine. Then they'd be able to. The numbers would lessen mm-hmm. for sure. Hopefully, I know they're testing it on animals and things right now. But they have you guys seen how they um, test? Oh, for COVID? I would never take that. If I'm sick, I'm just gonna feel it. I'm just gonna know I'm sick. <laughs> so you guys would never test? Yeah. Nah, bro. For yeah, COVID, I feel like I. Nostril. I mean, if it was if it was necessary, yes. Well, how how do you know what's necessary to you? I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. If I can't breathe, bring okay, that yeah. test. Breathing, bring that test. That's scary. Yeah. Dude, yeah. have you seen the test? Yeah, if you stick it down your nostril, it's it's huge. Up to like, to your throat, it's like they itch it's, your brain, it's dude. Like, yeah, it's it's huge. It's a huge. Your Q-tip. sinus, ridiculous. I saw. You I know, like, <laughs> so a lot of sports are opening back up, right? Mm-hmm. The players have to get tested before and after the game. Every game. Really? Every game. Oh heck no! Oh uh, well, I haven't heard no. anyone complain about Every game. That it's Same with football. You, what? People be in pain. You really? seen the vid- videos of people taking it? Oh, well. pain. That's painful. It's uncomfortable. Mad uncomfortable. But it's only for a couple of seconds, right? Yeah. But, it, but still. It's a very uncomfortable couple seconds. <laughs> it's a very uncomfortable. Yeah. So, okay. So, here's a, here's another question, you know. If, let's say things don't lessen. Let's say this is a, sort of becomes a new way of life for us. <laughs> what would a new normal look like in you guys? Masks mindset? everywhere. Masks. Everywhere. Masks all the time. Long lines. Uh... Being home <laughs> all day. Being home all the time. Yeah. Um, less people gathering with each other. But then at the same time, people don't care. Some people don't care. So. Yeah, you know, there was a very large group of, of people that protested the coronavirus. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, remember I know that. who you're talking about. I know. I, exactly. I yeah, that. in Southern mm-hmm. California, actually. Mm-hmm. In our own state, our own home gonna, state. Gonna protest the pandemic. Yep. Because I, want my hair I need a haircut. <laughs> Let's do that. I need my nails done. I need a massage. Somebody had a poster that said, I need a massage. <laughs> and they stood out there peacefully, real peaceful. Probably the most peaceful protest I've ever seen in my life. Did it accomplish anything? No. Stupid. Were they protected? Yeah. Yes. yes. Hell yeah. Of course. They were. Yeah. Just That's the only pandemic that matters to certain to certain people. Bad. Just I need a massage. A massage. <laughs> Out of their minds. So I think I think that so something with us is we really got really com- as a people, you know, we really got comfortable shaking hands and mm-hmm. hugging and in some cultures like they kiss just to mm-hmm. like greet on the cheek people. or whatever, yeah. you know, just to greet people. And, you know, being in each other's personal. But there's a such thing as personal space. Yeah, of course. Like, that's like... An actual thing. Yeah, <laughs> because everybody has different bacterias and thin mm-hmm. things on their bodies that we shouldn't necessarily swap all the time, right, mm-hmm. as often as we that's do. True. So, like, the idea of being six feet apart, obviously, it's kind of a big distance, but you really shouldn't be that close to a stranger in a store. You well, yeah, be I mean, of course. To but I'm talking... But they're talking else. about, like, people... I'm like, talking about a new normal. I'm saying, like, 
That's you know, people say, oh, it's ridiculous. We have to stand six feet away from somebody. Mm-hmm. You don't know that person. You don't no, know where that person's been. You should be, you should give them their space. Their space. Yeah. yeah. I remember one time, now that we're talking about space, um, I was in line and there's this one guy, he did not know what the heck personal space was because every time I would try to like add scoot space up between, a little space he yeah just up. so i oh, can like I stay that. away from him because i felt him breathing in the back of my neck so he would like literally step up closer to me i'm like what did you turn around and say bro step back I, like i would look back at him and give him the face but i'm not very ver- i'm not good with verbal conflict so mm. i'm just like <laughs> I, I specialize I'm, in those <laughs> you yes, do. i've done yeah, it many times that's you know that's that. a bad thing about me i need to be more verbal but i feel like people would fight me and i don't want to no nah, bro i've done that <laughs> plenty of times it's trader joe's people come they forget about that oh you got to stand behind line. excuse me miss can you please stand behind the line yeah. <laughs> oh i'm sorry i'm sorry I didn't. yeah i understand please just please stand behind the line you know and it's like they come in every day and, and no, forget people forget that. about the lines that they exist yeah so. exactly so I'm, I'm very quick to to tell you let you know please stand behind the line <laughs> yeah it's not very hard you know but i think that you know especially like when it comes to washing your hands they say at least wash your hands for at least 20, 20 seconds. seconds yeah that that's what you're supposed you're to do. You're supposed to do yeah. that, yeah. You know, like I said, the like washing saying. of the hands, I'm not really tripping about. Six feet when it comes to like a stranger, I'm not tripping about that Ooh. either. I think it's more or less when it's, I think it's more or less when it's six feet, when, when they when they enforce that rule with somebody that you know. Because even at my it's job. It's not. It's, it's, no, 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 no. Like at my job in Manisha, they're like, it's every, every, like when we went there for like the training, everybody I knew, everybody I knew, but they're like, oh, six feet apart and you got to wear a mask. Oh, oh, That oh. part was a little like, Makes I under, sense. like I understand the like, precaution, but at the same time, I was like, I'm, I know all these people. Like, it'd be different if, like, I'm in a store and, you know, yeah. I, and I got to, you know what I'm saying? Then, yeah, you know, get away from me. You know, keep your six feet. That makes sense. <laughs> they, they, I think they suggest that it, people in your household, if they don't live in your household, then be yeah, six feet away six from feet apart. That's what it is. So, yeah, even some of your friends you're supposed to be six feet away from. How So, lastly, you know, we got a couple minutes left. How How's everybody doing? How's everybody's mental, physical health in a time like this? Um... I'm gonna say it's it's so at first it was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie because it was I was trying to like it was it was different. But I think as I've kind of gotten used to it a little bit more and th- how things have kind of started opening up a little bit more, I think it's my mental health has been a little bit better for the most part. Because man, when we first was in this, it was kind of it was rough. It was rough. Um, so I mean, my my thing is just the fact that it's like I think I think because things are opening up, it's helping. Um, yeah. But f- and I I, th- I think I think when <clears throat> I think when more things are opening up, it'll help a little bit more. But it was rough at first. It was it was it was, it was pretty bad. Like because yeah, I, it was, it was I, a I didn't want to go home. Yeah, yeah, it was a culture shock. Yeah. Definitely. And it was like really abrupt. It was like no time to prepare. Mm-hmm. You know, it was kind of like a exactly. oh we're doing this. It's like something oh. was taken taken away from you. So. He said 45. But, um, yeah, for me, I mean, I'm pretty I'm comfortable with myself. You know, I, I can be alone. Like, even right now in my apartment, I'm alone. That's fine. But it gets to a point where, yeah, it's just, it's damn, bro, I just <laughs> I know. start talking to myself, talking to the walls and stuff. It's like, bro, <laughs> somebody talk back. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes, Clay's, our sound guy's looking at me crazy. Yes. Talk to myself. Yes, I talk damn, to myself and consultant. I talk to the walls. <laughs> But just whatever's in my head, I'll just say you it said, out loud. What do you say to the wall? And I'll look, look at the wall like, yo, you gonna say something back? And I'll be like, no. And be great. Oh like, my gosh. Putting a roof over my head. Yeah, no, no, no. I just, you know, it gets to a point where it's like, bro, okay. You just get really bored, you know? Yeah, but, no, but at too the much. same time, well, have you guys gone back home? Yeah, yeah. I we just have came back more time yesterday. with family. That's the only person. That's true. See, okay, so I'm using it because honestly, and my parents kind of help, you know, try, you know, talking to me about this but it's like you know use this time for something that because you i mean yeah. when is the next time that you're going to get like mm-hmm. six months out of year to just do nothing house, yeah. exactly so i mean i'm taking i'm you know improving my piano skills you know what i'm saying because okay. i mean when else am i i mean because that, that was honestly my main excuse the last thing because i don't have any time anymore yeah mm-hmm. um but That's now true. it's like i got heck of time to just play. and i mean i definitely improve i'll say that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'm gonna be honest i feel like i haven't been using my time wisely other than working but if i didn't mm-hmm. have work oof, boy i'd be stuck at home and i don't know what the heck i would be doing cooking that's it cleaning mm-hmm. but i feel like i i need to pick up on something yeah i mean a lot of people really picked it like my mom put, took up knitting 
Mm-hmm. Like, pe- like people are really just taking up just anything at this That's point. True. Interesting. My mom knits too. Yeah, for real. But I'll tell you this though. So I took my parents to a soccer game, Gold Cup final, USA versus Jamaica, right down the street from my house. Uh huh. And she was knitting during the game. <laughs> You know how mad I was? I paid seventy dollars for a ticket. She was knitting. <laughs> she was not during interested. The game. She was not interested. <laughs> knitting. So what, what I'm not a fan of knitting. I'm not knit? a fan a of scarf. knitting. Oh, okay. Maybe it was cold. It's huh? the main things maybe that she it knit. Cold. It wasn't cold. Oh. It wasn't cold. It's it was main, nice it's, weather. It's just it's just the gym, general Let knitting. Her be. It's her little fidgety. No, I, I I didn't say anything to my mother, obviously, but <laughs> Yeah. I was a little frustrated. Just like, little. Mom, what's the game? I could have took my brother. He would have enjoyed it. She's knitting. <laughs> you would have yeah, enjoyed it, but yeah, no, I agree. I think that if everybody was to, you know, pick up the projects that they stopped because they didn't have time, mm-hmm. or yeah. you know, use this time to work on themselves, you know, certain things that they feel like they need to strengthen within their personality and or mentality, or mentality yeah. exactly. So if they were to do that, come, we could all come out better people, you know, definitely, definitely. Because I mean, at first I wasn't, I wasn't read. really doing anything to be honest. I was just waking up. Watching TV, eating food. That's really all I was doing. I was chilling. I mean, because because I didn't have. I mean, I just started online class again. But literally, there was nothing. Yeah, you know, I work was closed, so there was literally nothing for me to do. But then I was like, you know, let me let me work a little bit more on this piano thing. Yeah, me and my friend just wrote up a business plan and we're working on just making our business that we want to do in the future. So just like that, being very <laughs> constructive. Yes, for productive advice. with my time for sure. So, yeah, I think that that pretty much covers what we have on COVID. I mean, we talked about, you know, the numbers. We talked about how it spreads. Hopefully, if you're listening and you weren't informed at all, you got a little bit of information from us. But there's so many different. It was it was hard to, like, decipher through all the different information because there's so many different yeah. news platforms saying so many different things. So it was exactly. hard to find. I try to find the, the, the bare bones stuff from, like, the CDC and, you know, a couple quotes from doctors. But... There's, there's a lot of everything lot of going everything. around, yeah. exactly. And then we also, you know, covered our, you know, student Personal experience. Experience. Yeah, student yeah. experience. Yeah, student experience. So, um, Sac State students, students in general. Stingers up. Nah, I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah, stingers up. Stingers up, but not just that. You but know, share, who's right? share in the comments, you know, what yeah. your experience is like. Uh, if you have any suggestions that the school should do, you know, regarding fall semester and online classes let us know mm-hmm. and we'll try our best to bring it to this platform and get that happen make that happen for you guys yep anything else yep. you guys want to add solid man i'm solid Ira. thank you for listening to us and stay safe out there until next be time be productive as well exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. until next time I think I'll-